All right, so we're looking at a full system replacement. Uh, we could set up for 80% efficiency. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's a five inch flare. Let's get a quick. Yeah, so we got a five inch flea that's coming down. So I'm gonna give an option to do the water heater at the same time. All the equipment is uh, original to the house. That's about 21 years old. Uh, yeah, supply and return trunks are, uh, are sized um, well. Even that return drop is, um, has got plenty. You can see there's a very small filter for a four ton system. So we want to come back with a media filter, put the furnace on a base, and then the coil, plenum, and blend that in with the existing supply trunk. The line set's running through finished space, so we'll be flushing, pressure testing, recharging, drains close by. We'll rerun that in, in vinyl. You can see there's shut off for the gas. Electrics are all in metal conduit. Um, the one thing that jumped out is the basement's been finished um, and I don't see enough ventilation um, in here for the uh, water heater or the furnace at the moment. I'll jump around, but basically you can see the stairs coming down. Uh, there's a, a wall that leads into kind of like a living area. So my recommendation is we cut in two grills um, just to get that ventilation that's needed for the furnace and the water heater to meet that combustion. Um, code. This is not a walkout, um, but uh, we've got pretty good access to get in and out of here. Just going to put this down for a sec. Um, so you're in a utility room, and to get out, we just need some floor coverings down um, on the tile floor. And then we just make our way around. And then uh, straight up the stairs. Straight up the stairs here, and you can either by the, uh, come and go through the front door or uh, through the garage. So we just need some floor coverings down these stairs and then also um, in the main living area. That's it.